Hey there folks, welcome back to the Home Shop, also known as World Headquarters for the International Brotherhood of Fluorescent Shirt Workers. So as I just got back from the beauty shop, and I'm fucking sore man, I was reading the menu pricing and it says regular haircut, 12 bucks, neck shave, 3 bucks, beard trim, 5 bucks, I'm going down the list, and uh, at the bottom of the list it says Brazilian, 35 bucks, I thought to myself, you know what? I could pay a few extra bucks to have an exotic woman cut my hair. Thanks for clicking away from By Curious George. Last time we talked, we were uh, looking at this fuel pump on this stump grinder, and I see this gasket that the guy said he replaced, but obviously he had some retarded beaver carve this thing out. This ain't gonna fucking work. So, here's the bowl, and I started thumbing around my uh, nightstand, and I found this thing. It'll probably work. All I gotta do is freeze it. It's a little big. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> and, uh, I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit, see if this won't seal up our problem. All right, so how this fuel pump works is it's driven off the cam. That cam runs a little plunger. Inside that goes to a diaphragm that jiggles back and forth with a pressure vacuum, pressure vacuum in this little chamber. So if that gasket wasn't making any uh, contact here, and it was sucking air, and it would be pushing air too, then this thing isn't going to draw fuel from the tank. So here's the inlet, goes in that little hole, down in the chamber, comes out this thing, ejaculates out, goes through this screen, and into the outlet, into the carburetor. So there's two other things I don't like about this. First, this screen's a little big could have been trimmed down a little bit I'm not too concerned with that actually I might just throw this out because we got another filter in its place in line fuck that thing so second thing I don't like and I really don't like this is it's got this horrible casting I mean whoever fucking I, I know the thing was cheap and it's from Napa but yeah since I'm trying to achieve a good seal here I'm gonna file this down a little flatter because the o-ring that I do have is just a little bit big for this thing and I'm afraid it's going to pop out and so I want to take every safe measure that I can that this thing is going to seal. So, this old Tony, if you're watching, cover your eyes right now, man. I'll tell you when it's okay to look. Could you please not look so close Because all my faults are showing It's not the life I'm in But the state of mind And I want you to see me glowing Oh, what a fucking hack. Now, no hacky filing job would be complete without a decent blowjob. As you move the beers. Choo. Now, I know some of you guys could probably just hold this up next to your old lady's heart to shrink it down. But I had to use my freezer, so time is of the essence. Come on, baby. Oh, she feels good. Quick, get her in there. Oh, come on, come on. Of course it doesn't want to start, you fucker. You dirty cocksucker. Oh, and I dropped the washer. Motherfuck. All right, on to find the washer. Motherfucker. Oh, I lost that washer real bad. God damn it. Okay. Washer. Where are you? Oh, I found it. Ha <laughs> fuck yeah. This calls for the only tool from La Casa de Grisa that's not all full of sticky shit. Careful. Careful. Oh, got it. All right, so I'm going to go refreeze my, my O-ring, and we'll uh, see if it'll shrink down again. Hopefully I can get it in the hole this time. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, take two on the O-ring. Let's see here. 
got our washer, o-ring, put it in a little ice bath there, seems to fit okay, I can only get the bolt started now. Get in your new home, bitch. I gotta snug that up and we're gonna test her out. And that o ring had a lot of squeeze to her. This thing never actually snugged up. I think I'm gonna stop there. And if this works, I'm gonna take this bolt back out and put some blue Loctite on there or something like that and then get it to a torque I'm comfy with. Because, man, it's not even tight, but I went down on that o ring like. Now even though it's been a week since I got to look at this thing, I haven't got a chance to get a new freehold pressure tester. So, we're going to do the Peter North test one more time and see if this thing shoots some ropes now. Just went in the house to get another beer. Got a pesky fly in there. Forgot, I should probably show you guys this awesome fly swatter. You can get it at Bass Pro Shop. You just wait till he lands, you point it right at the little motherfucker, and bam! Is that fucking cool or what? All right, so I moved the thing forward a little bit so the cutter's in a good position. Not going to kill anybody. I'll pick up my shorts. Uh, we got fuel present in the fuel filter. It's only about a foot away from the uh, pump, so it should draw pretty quick. This is going to work. And, uh, yeah, don't ever shoot gas onto a hot engine, obviously. And eyes, ears, move, breathe, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what happens. Contact. Oh, I left the fucking key on for a week. God damn it. Well, I was looking around trying to figure out where the battery was on this biatch. Finally found it in this door. And I was cursing myself for leaving the key on. But I'll tell you what, I'm glad I did. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't have to charge the battery. And I wouldn't have seen this. This is a bozo no-no of epic proportions. Don't ever leave a can of fucking starting fluid next to the battery. Had a guy do this one time with an Ingersoll Rand air compressor. Dude hits the fucking railroad tracks. Can bounces up. Hits the positive and the negative. Dead shorts. Fucking exploded right there. Burnt the thing to the ground. I fixed it for him, but it was really expensive. Wiring harness. All kinds of shit. But, uh, yeah. Don't ever do this. This is a fucking recipe for disaster. Oh, wait. Oh, how I missed that sticky. Yuck. Now, you guys might not know this, but the battery is always grounded on a 12 volt system to the frame. So, if you got a negative terminal that's way to fuck in there, you can get to the positive. Just put one on the positive and then, uh, yeah, ground this fucker anywhere. Right there is good. As long as it's making sparks when you turn it on, you're good to go. I got a little bolt up here on the control valve. I'm just going to stick it there. Okay, five minutes in on the high charge. Come on, baby. Ah. Well, I'm waiting for that battery to charge up. I suppose I could catch you guys up on a little bit of news. Uh, last week, Laquisha, who's often featured in my videos, my little uh, yellow lab there, she... Uh, she was real sick and I had to take her in and uh, they told me to put her down and so I did. So that's why she's not going to be in any more videos. She's in that big dog park in the sky. It's a fucking drag too, man. I love that dog more than I loved most humans. Alright, starting to smell like a wing stop in here. <clears throat> that battery charger's got some fucking film on her. Starting to stink it up. I'm guessing I can probably get a crank out of this. Let's see what happens. God damn it. Nothing yet. All right, it's dark 30 out here, but I think I got enough wattage at the cottage to give this a try. Peter North test take two. I should have took the spark plugs out for this, but I didn't. So let's give it a crank, see what happens. Contact. Fucking nothing. 
All right, I'm gonna have to break down. Let's go get a tester. Something's obviously wrong. This fuel pump ain't pumping shit, and there's gas present at the inlet. So let's check this uh, fuel cap just for shits and giggles, you know. Up close, personal. I'm gonna give it a little light. See if you can hear anything. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow's another day. Alright, so step two, three, or four of troubleshooting has definitely been verified. This fuel pump is not pumping shit. There's fuel present here. This is getting actuated. There's a decent seal there, and nothing's going back and forth enough to make fuel go out. So it's definitely a fuel delivery issue. I'm going to have to uh, shorten up this video or shoot another one. We'll see how it goes, but uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Pretty sure this is the culprit right here. Um, yeah, god damn it. I wanted this thing to go. Alright, well anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll keep you guys posted. Peace!